Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the global configuration for a Joomla installation. Uh, this particular site is a fresh install. It happens to be a rocket theme uh, rocket launcher. So it has a few extra um, uh, things in here that you wouldn't ordinarily have with a standard Joomla installation. But as far as the heart of the site, uh, if you look at Joomla as a system, the global configuration really is the heart. Um, as far as the global config goes, it's the same as a standard installation. And before you really move on to anything else when you build your site, you need to go in there and make uh, quite a few changes. So let's go ahead and, and, and go check it out. You can get there two ways, from the main panel here or from the menu. And the global configuration has three tabs. There's site, system and server. So we'll start with site. Um, if you're building your site and you don't want anyone to enter or see it, including search engines, you can set this site offline to yes. And then when someone goes to the site, they'll see a, a Joomla logo, which you can change out. And this site is down uh, temporarily, whatever you put here. Uh, but you can you yourself can get in with your admin password and see what's going on with the site. So you can set that to yes or no. Uh, the site name, when I did the installation, I, I just put the name of the site here, um, but that's really not enough because if you look up at the top here, that's all that's going to appear and then the page that you're, that you're on. It's better to put a bit of a slogan in here, um, something that is rel relevant. Uh, so classifieds um, is what this site's about. So I'll go ahead and just put in there classifieds for the world. How's that? And if you hit apply here, you're going to see the change up here. So wiserlist.com is the top of the, the tree, and then your slogan, and then the page that you're on. Um, here's your editor, where you can set to no editor. Or this, uh, this particular installation has something called Rockpad. Um, I'll set it to TinyMCE. Uh, in another video, we'll talk about the JCE editor, which is, in most cases, preferable. List length is very important. Set it to the maximum, 100. So when you go to your plugins and modules, you can see them all and don't have to uh, go from page to page. Uh, feed length, it's set to 10. I I'd make that a little higher. 20 is about right. Uh, feed email, what that means is if you have RSS feeds, um, this will set it so that if you have various authors and the RSS feeds go out and you want people who subscribe to your RSS to reply to the author of the article, then you'd set this feed email to author email. Um, site email would just be, let's say, info at yourdomain.com. Um, here, uh, global site meta description, it always comes loaded with Joomla information, and you obviously want to change this out. So you'd want to have a short description of your site, uh, wiserlist.com is great for classifieds. This is what people are going to see when they find you um, on Google or Yahoo. It's the first thing that comes up if they find your ho your homepage. So make this nice and don't make it too long because it's going to cut it off anyway at, after you know a certain amount of uh, characters. And then obviously you want to put in a few um, uh, to start a few uh, keywords. So this is something you can build over time. Uh, you you, you want to turn off this show author meta tag, and over here SEO settings. That's uh, another video for another time. So we'll leave it for now. Here are your system settings. Th these are all set automatically. Uh, but down here, very important, your user settings. What kind of a site is this? If it's a site uh, such as a shopping cart, uh, you're going to want to allow user registration. If it's a brochure site, you might want to turn this off because. If there's no reason for someone to register, um, there's no reason to allow it. It's, it, it's a security risk, uh, in a sense. Um, and then you can set whether or not uh, your registered users need to activate through an email or not. You might set it to know if it's a shopping cart. You want to save that step, keep them moving through the cart. Uh, front end parameters is whether or not your registered users can check their account and change things. All of these media settings, th these are file types. Uh, size of uploads in bytes, um, the standard setting if you've ever used Joomla, somebody invented it a long time ago, images, stories. This really points to where your editor is going to go look for images. You could change this. Um, 
if you don't like the word stories but most people leave it alone uh, restrict uploads uh, that means restrict the size uh, and you know basically pay attention to everything that's in here and these are all the other kind of file types and these are safe types you can add to them uh, but you want to be careful because you don't want people uploading viruses and there's a flash uploader that's uh, uh, an option uh, here's your debug if you're checking things out you can turn this on or off uh, cache we want to leave off while we're building the site and consider using it later uh, in order to gain site speed um, and then here session lifetime uh, you should really up this because if you're an administrator building the site if it times out at 15 minutes you're going to be working on a page for half an hour and then you go to save it and it's gone so uh, this you should definitely increase uh, you can always set it back after the site's built so there's your system settings and then finally the server just a couple of things here um, gzip compression is a way uh, it's an optional way uh, you can make your site faster. It's a system that will compress pages uh, for your viewers. You can set it to yes after the site's done and, and then make sure everything works because oftentimes uh, or occasionally it'll conflict, but you'll find out if it doesn't work. It'll tell you gzip's the problem, uh, but definitely you gain a lot of speed. And then another way to gain speed is to set error reporting to none. It's set by default to system default site will run faster if you set it to none and of course you want to tell the world where you live so I'm on the west coast so I'm going to put Pacific time uh, and everything else here um, is email settings so I've got my personal email in here uh, but probably at some point I would change this to info at uh, wiserlist.com um, and the from name is if you have an auto generated email this is what it will say uh, when they get the email. So you can you can customize that a little bit too. And that about does it for the global configuration. We'll save that. And thanks for watching.